Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose for all news and analysis coming at you live from my cozy little corner of the internet. So grab your popcorn and settle in because, boy, do I have a juicy tale for you today. We're diving deep into the royal drama that's hotter than a jalapeno popper at a Texas barbecue. So now, unless you've been living under a rock, and hey, no judgment if you have, the world's been pretty wild lately. You probably heard about the ongoing saga of our favorite role runaways, Harry and Meg, but hold on to your crowns because this story just took a twist that not even the best Hollywood scriptwriters could dream up. So Prince Harry, the guy who once upon a time couldn't wait to ditch his royal duties faster than a cat escaping a bath, is now reportedly begging to come back to the fold. And who's he turning to for help? None other than his sister-in-law the ever graceful Princess Catherine. Talk about a plot twist. Now, let me break this down for you, shall we, guys? We have got Harry, who's apparently realized that the grass isn't always green on the other side. Then there's Meghan, who's probably not too thrilled about the return of events. And in the middle of it all, we've got Kate stuck between a rock and a hard place, trying to navigate the royal mess. First off, let's talk about Harry. Our boy's been through the ringer, hasn't he? From party prince to military man to royal rebel, he's had more character arcs than a soap opera protagonist. But this latest development, it's like watching a prodigal son storyline play out in real time. According to the grapevine, and by that I mean those mysterious royal insiders who always seem to know everything, Harry's been blowing up Kate's phone like a teenager with a crush. He's apparently been absolutely begging and pleading, probably throwing in a few pretty pleas with a crown on top for good measure. Now, Kate's initial reaction, pure ice baby. She was having none of it. And can you blame her after all the drama and tell-all interviews and the book that spilled more tea than a Boston Tea Party? Kate was done, finished, kaput. She'd washed her hands of the whole sitch and was probably ready to change her number and move back to a deserted island. But here's where it gets interesting, folks. After what must have been some Oscar-worthy groveling from Harry, Kate's icy resolve started to melt. Maybe it was the memory of the good old days, or maybe she's got tired of listening to voicemails. Whatever the reason, Kate decided to hear him out. Now, let's pause for a sec and give Kate the respect she deserves. This woman has the patience of a saint and the diplomacy skills of a seasoned UN negotiator. I mean, after everything that's gone down, most of us would have told Harry to take a long walk off a short pier, but not Kate. She's rising above it. Now, don't go thinking it's all sunshine and rainbows. Oh no, there's a catch, a big Megan-shaped catch. See, Kate might be willing to extend an olive branch, but Meg, she's about as welcome in Kate's world as a fox in a hen house. According to our sources, by sources I mean those chatty insiders, Kate's made it clear. Harry can come back, but Megan's got to stay on her side of the Atlantic. It's like a raw version of, you can sit with us, but your girlfriend can't. Now, I can just imagine the conversation that must have gone down between them picture it, Harry probably looking like a lost puppy pleading his case and Kate cool as a cucumber. Listen here, little bro, I imagine Kate saying in that posh accent of hers, I'm willing to help you, but there's a condition. First off, no more tell-all books. I don't want to see much as a raw recipe published without approval. Second, you're going to have to work your tushy off to regain everyone's trust. And third, this is non-negotiable. Megan stays in California. I hear the weather is lovely year-round and Harry probably relief washing over him like a tidal wave, nodding to everything. Yes, 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 of course, whatever you say, Kate, you're a lifesaver, a real gem. The jewel in the crown, if you will. But here's where it gets juicy, folks. Apparently, this whole Harry wants to come back scenario isn't just about family reconciliation. Oh no, there is a bigger picture here. We're talking about the future of the monarchy. Word on the street is that William is gearing up to take the throne from Charles and his plan. Harry could play a crucial role. Can you believe it? The same Harry who couldn't wait to escape royal life might be the key to its future. Now, I know what you're thinking. Come on, have you lost your marbles? This sounds like a far-fetched story, and you're not wrong. Even Kate herself is calling it delusional, but in the crazy world of the royal, sometimes the most outlandish ideas are the ones that come true. Imagine it, William on the throne, Kate by his side, and Harry, well, doing whatever it is he spares do. Cutting ribbons, shaking hands, trying not to cause international incidents, whatever it is, Kate's apparently on board with the idea. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. This isn't a done deal by any stretch. There are more hurdles to overcome than in an Olympic steeplechase. 
First and foremost, there's the Megan factor. Now, I'm not here to villainize anyone, but let's be real. Megan's been about as popular in royal circles as a fox in a hen house. The tell-all interviews and Netflix docs, the book, it's all left a sour taste in our mouths of the royal family. And it's not just a family. The British public, who once welcomed Meg with open arms, are now warier than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. The fairy tale romance has turned into a cautionary tale. And people are more skeptical than ever. But here's the thing. Lover or hate her, Megan's been a catalyst for change. She's forced the family to confront the truths about themselves. Whether you agree with their methods or not, you can't deny she's shaking things up. Now back to Harry. Our boy's in a pickle. On one hand, he's got the possibility of returning to the fold, of being part of something bigger. On the other, he's got his wife and his children in California. And a life he's built away from the pressures of royalty. It's like he's standing at a crossroads with one path leading back to the gilded cage of royal life and the other to uncertain freedom. But let's not forget about Kate. Our girl's playing the long game. She's thinking about the future of the monarchy, about her husband's reign. They'll leave their children for the legacy. And in the grand scheme of things, Harry could be a valuable piece. Think about it. Harry's been popular with the public. He's got that everyman charm, the ability to connect with people. And let's face it, the monarchy could use that. They've been through the ringer lately. So in Kate's mind, bringing Harry back into the fold could be a master stroke. It's a way to heal the family rift, to present a uni united front to the world and to shore up support for the monarchy. But here's where it gets interesting. Kate's not just thinking about the big picture. She's thinking about her own rep. She spent years cultivating this image of the perfect princess, the dutiful wife, the doting mother, the graceful future queen. And now she's got to figure out how to help Harry without tarnishing the carefully polished image. Oh, yes. It's a tightrope walk, friends. On one side, she's got her duty uh, to the monarchy and her desire to help her brother-in-law. On the other side, she's got her own reputation and the very real risk of the public backlash. But if there's one thing we know about Kate, it's that she's a master of the royal game. She's weathered storms before and she'll weather this one. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Or should I say the actress in California? Meghan Markle, the woman who swept Harry off his feet and into a whirlwind of controversy. Kate's stance on Meghan is clearer than a freshly polished crown jewel. Thanks, but no thanks. And can you blame her? From Kate's perspective, Meghan's been nothing but trouble. Family feuds, media circus, the tell interviews, it's been a big headache. In Kate's mind, bringing Meghan back into the fold would be like inviting a tornado to a garden party. Harry and Meghan are a package deal. They're married, they have kids, but they've built a life in California. Asking Harry to come back without Meghan is like asking him to cut off her right arm. And let's not forget, Meghan's got her own fan base. There are plenty of people out there who see her as a breath of fresh air. To them, Meghan's not the villain, she's the hero. So Kate's got to tread carefully. She can't be seen as the wicked sister-in-law, but she also can't roll out the red carpet for someone who's caused so much trouble. It's a delicate balance. But here's the thing, Kate's a pro. She's been navigating this for years. She knows how to smile for the cameras with gritted teeth. She knows how to play the game. And make no mistakes, this is a game, a high-stakes global game of thrones with the future of one of the world's oldest monarchies hanging in the balance. And Kate is playing to win. This is me, your friendly neighborhood critic, signing off. Stay tuned, stay curious, and remember, in the game of thrones, you win, you lose. Well, you know the rest. Peace out, Royal Watchers.